Hi, my name is Goldie Callahan, and today I am going to talk to you about my virtual reality field trips. Okay, first off, I want to tell you a little bit about who I am. My name is Goldie Callahan. I am currently a fifth and sixth grade language arts and social studies. Um, I teach at Beaver Creek Elementary, which is in Knott County, Kentucky. Not only am I the fifth and sixth grade um, Am I the teacher of these students? But I'm also a mother of one of these students. So um, that's kind of how I came up with this is because my child was saying, Mom, I miss field trips. I miss learning about different things and seeing different experiences. So the technology in the field trips. Um, so during COVID-19, my school, like many other schools, we have been limited on our field trips. Um, we personally at Beaver Creek Elementary are not taking any field trips currently. Um, last year, the only field trip that I know of was our eighth grade students. And I believe that is how it is going to be this year as well. Um, our eighth grade students will take a day trip as part of their eighth grade trip. So field trips have long been used to reinforce student learning. And what I mean by that is like, when we're teaching something in the classroom, yes, it is great for the students to experience what we're teaching and all of that. But when we get to take them on field trips, we get to bring especially history alive for what we're talking about and what we are teaching in class. So I, I have noticed that... Um, the students are not retaining the information as much as I would like to have seen them retain the information that we are learning in school because of the, the world around them. Because not only do, does the field trips get the students out of the school and learning and getting their hands on things and experiencing um, we're teaching in the classroom, but it also has given them a way to see the world, especially for students at Beaver. Um, I know a lot of these students have never been outside of Knott County. And the way that they experience this is the field trips that are offered through the school. So I am looking at if there is a way for us to connect the students with a field trip by using technology that would allow them to still experience these same things that our students were missing when we had to adapt to the new COVID world. So how can I help my students? Well, recently I've learned that Nearpod, um, I've used Nearpod for quite a while, but I recently learned that Nearpod provides a virtual reality field trip op option for multiple lessons. This is when I got the idea to take my students on virtual field trips. So to make this happen, I will already use my existing Nearpod subscription. I will need two Oculus headsets. Um, and these are the very popular virtual reality sets and several of my students have them already at home. So I will also be opening that world to them, showing them how to access these field trips and how to use what they would typically use for a gaming device that they would also be able to use for a learning device. I will need to purchase the virtual reality sets, a storage case to protect them, and a charging stand um, to ensure that the that the Oculus sets are um, charged. One of the things that has changed, though, is when you're looking at the things. When I first was doing research for my project, um, this came together as a bundle. Well, now it doesn't, so you have to kind of buy everything individually. I will implement, implement this study with my fifth and sixth grade students here at Beaver Creek Elementary. So the way that this study will work is I will give my students a pre-assessment that 
is going to be over the topic that we're covering and that we're going to be experiencing with the field trip. I will cover that, then I will then cover that topic. Um, and I will be choosing the topic based off of what is in the Nearpod lesson and what I have available here. And I'll be covering the same content, but I will make sure that there is a virtual reality lesson that is already established on Nearpod. And as I'm teaching, I'm gonna make sure that I hit the same point. So like if my fifth grade students are, for example, um, working on their compelling question of why is old stuff so important um, within their social studies unit, then I'm going to use those lessons, but also to make sure that um, I'm covering the same topic, I will also find a virtual reality um, lesson that also connects to one of my sources that we will be using for that. So after my lesson is delivered, I will give the students an assessment. After the assessment is completed, the virtual lesson will then go on. So then I will have, a, um, have the students go on, experience the virtual field trip, and then they will take the same assessment that they had completed before. Students will ideally complete the virtual reality lesson and the assessment. The they'll ideally what they will do is they will I will deliver the lesson and then give the assessment. And then they will have the virtual reality and then have the assessment. So the assessment for what I had taught in class would happen, the virtual reality trip, and then the assessment for the virtual reality um, field trip would then occur. Ideally, the two assessments and the virtual reality trip would happen in the same day. In an ideal world, when I would have all day with my students, everything would happen in one day. But as we know, we are very limited with our time with our students. This study will occur during the 2021-2022 school year. This study will begin after the fall fire summit and will end prior to the spring fire summit. And the study will occur during the normal school day because no student likes to come to school after school. How I will compare my data is I will compare the results to the pre-assessment, the post-assessment for the in-person lesson, and then the post-assessment from the virtual reality trip. What I will be checking here for is for knowledge that is gained that they may not have already had. And then I will also be comparing the lesson, the in-person lesson to the virtual reality lesson and seeing if um, it has helped expand my students' knowledge and that they may have been able to answer one or more questions um, that they did not answer prior to. Um, if a majority of the students can answer at least one additional question correct or in greater depth. So if we are talking about like why is old stuff important and I go just old stuff is important because um, it's stuff that's happened in the past versus old stuff is important because we see that um, that Inventor X invented this and it expanded to help our country grow or whatever, they're able to expand that more, then I would consider both of these scenarios a success. Look, I look forward to presenting this data in the spring 2022 fire summit. And I look forward to seeing all of you then and hopefully in person and we won't have to be doing this virtually. If you have any questions or feedback you would like to share with me, you can email me at goldie.callahan at not.kyschools.us. And I look forward to hearing from you. And if you have any questions, please, please, please email me and let me know.